Well, and that brings me kind of to the next concept is men in dating mm -hmm. and how dating it like being a bartender has kind of like ruined dating or maybe made dating even easier to pick them out in terms of the bad ones faster. Yeah. Yeah. You can just know who's good, who's not, at least from that pool of people. But yeah, a lot of the smoother they are, the more outgoing they are, probably the more slutty they are. <laughs> I don't know. I've always met people and dated like my boyfriends I've met at places of work, but I always mm -hmm. came up to them. It's like, yeah, through a line at them. I'm like, Hey, <laughs> come here. <laughs> hey, you, you with the face. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you also kind of have your pick of the litter being a bartender because everybody wants the bartender. But oh, the bartender yeah. doesn't want anybody. But then when she does pick somebody, it's like, Oh, guys, yeah, I'm in it. You know, <laughs> I didn't know it was like a, a sort of a kink, like men just really want the bartender because she's mm -hmm. nobody can have her. I didn't know mm -hmm. that until I was mm -hmm. like 27. It's like, really? It's a well known thing. Yeah. I don't know. You get so many people hitting on you when they're wasted. And so it's like, come, come see me tomorrow. And if you remember me, then maybe I'll right. get you. Or maybe we'll have a conversation. Uh, well, I think it's because I, I compare it to a, like a celebrity, even like being a, you know, a YouTuber, it's the same concept. Like you are this thing, Rockstar. right? That you, yeah. And you exist in a, a more fantasy style world. Like you are the bartender and you're not part of the party, but you make the party happen. Right. Yeah. And that makes you like the celebrity, the MC, the host, the, the special person that everybody knows but she doesn't know any of them. There's like 2,000 yeah. of them that run through and see her face in a night, but she doesn't know any of them. Yeah. But you, everybody knows their favorite bartender, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So they know at least know them by face. Yeah. So, yeah. so with that, like it makes you kind of like the celebrity of the bar or the community that you're in or, you know. nice to you because they want free drinks and <laughs> yada, yada. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And everybody wants to know somebody like, oh, I know the bartender. We're good. Like <laughs> all the guys want to. And I always wondered why. And then when, as I got older, it's like, oh, because it's kind of status. Like if you're like, oh, hi, Tori, when they walk in, like, yeah, yeah. I know her. So mm -hmm. you know, well, <laughs> and yeah. And if you know their name, I it makes them do. feel I'm even so more good special. At it. I was yeah. like known as the person that remembered names. So bartenders would be like, hey, do you remember that guy's name? I'm like Jerry? Yeah. To ask him about his child. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, oh. I'm really good at it. Or best case, worst case scenario, maybe uh, like, you know what they drink and you know their stories, like their backstory. You may forget their name, but you'll you'll have them queued in on the computer. Like the kiosk is like, um, you know, Yingling because he always drinks Yingling or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, or like, um, you know, Katie's dad, or I don't know, some weird oh, thing like that. <laughs> <laughs> that one dude, uh, we actually had a regular, um, we named him Tiffany's bracelet mm -hmm. on his tabs because none of us could remember his name, but, uh, he had, he <laughs> came in, like, no, he bought me a Tiffany's bracelet. Oh, yeah. That's so that's what a better I, name in my computer, Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Sugar Daddy. Well, that's what they the girls always said that anytime he walked in, uh, and they're like, "Your Sugar Daddy's here, Sarah." <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh." <laughs> okay. But they weren't complaining the way he was tipping either. So yeah, you know, because yeah. we all had to share it, and you know, he would. You know how you always have to share, and so he would give me two pieces he'd be like listen put this one in the bucket it's yeah. fair enough to go around it's more than enough to go around but this one's just for you and i'm like yeah. okay as long as you gave one to both then i'll do it that way but yeah. outside of that i'm a big believer in sharing the cause so yeah tip karma you know exactly mm -hmm.